My name is Joseph Anderson and this is RM University's 90 Day Jumpstart Program. Today is day 68 and today I want to talk to you about forgiveness. The Savior said, I the Lord will forgive whom I will forgive, but of you it is required to forgive all men. But when we think about all that the Savior went through and how he could forgive all of us, how he could forgive the people that have, that have hurt him and the people that continue to hurt him, if the Savior can forgive everyone else, can't we? You know, if you haven't already, you're going to have somebody hurt you in this life. It's going to happen. And I think a lot of times it doesn't even happen intentionally. And if I think back to, you know, grade, to grade school, you know, and all the challenges that everybody goes through. And of looking back to those people and forgiving them. A lot of times they were just trying to figure out who they were too. Boys will be boys, girls will be girls, you know, and we all learn through those experiences. But when we hold on to grudges and hate, and when we don't allow ourselves to forgive, it's the same as holding a hot coal, waiting to throw it at somebody else, hoping that they get hurt. You're the only person it hurts, so let it go. Let go of the pain, let go of the past, let go of the challenges. There was one time I had a really neat experience. You know, I, I, I went ahead and I forgave. I, I had this really cool, neat prayer. And I forgave everyone that I could think of that had ever done anything that, I, that came to my mind. And it was one of the coolest, neatest experiences that I've ever had. You know, and when we think that the Savior can forgive us for doing what we do, can't we forgive somebody else? Can't we forgive everyone? What's it going to cost you if you hold on to your grudges? Well, number one, it's going to cost you your health. It's been proven that people that hold grudges and won't allow themselves to forgive others, they develop ulcers, they develop all kinds of health problems just because they won't forgive somebody. Forgiveness is actually a great tool to success. I'm not saying that's the only reason to do it, but if you have somebody right now, so I'm going to ask you, is there somebody that's wronged you in the past that you have not forgiven? Yes or no? Write it down. What would your life be like if you forgave that person? Like I said, a lot of times these people weren't even trying to hurt us. What would it be like if you forgave them? What would it be like if you gave them a second chance? Everybody's trying to figure out this life. Now, on the flip side, what would it be like if you held on to that grudge? If you held on to that hot coal in your hand? And if you think that what they did to you is so bad that you can't forgive, remember, the Savior forgave those that put Him up on the cross. He said, forgive them, they don't know what they're doing. They're essentially little children, they're trying to figure this out. Forgive them, don't punish them. And I think we really want the same for everybody else. I think we want everybody else to be happy. You know, I once heard a story about a lady that she'd been in a, a Nazi concentration camp. And afterwards she found Christ and she went off and, sh and she preached about how amazing it was you know, to be able to forgive, to be able to let Christ in. And then one time she was in, in a basement doing one of these meetings and in the very back, she saw one of the guards from one of the camps. And she's sitting there thinking, Oh my goodness, this, and I can't believe this is happening. I hope he doesn't come up and talk to me afterwards. But he did. He came up and tried to talk to her. And he said, I was a guard in one of those camps. Can you ever forgive me? And she stood for what seemed like a really long time. And, and she prayed to Heavenly Father. And she said, hey, I'll reach out my hand if you can give me the feeling. And she reached out her hand. And he reached out his. And she said, I forgive you. And then this amazing feeling rushed over her. And she said, with all of my heart, before in her thoughts, she was thinking, how can I do this? 
My sister died in that concentration camp. How can I forgive this man? But she turned it over to God. She turned it over to Heavenly Father. And if there's anything you're struggling with, no matter what it is, turn it over to the Savior. Trust in God. He knows you. He will help you. He will save you. And forgive everybody that has hurt you. What would your life look like if you consistently forgave everybody that wronged you? My name is Joseph Anderson. This is RM University. Have an awesome day.